while we're waiting, if you guys just want to stretch out just a little bit, um, we'll do a quick warm up stretch at the very beginning, just something very quick before we get going. All right. Give it just one more minute to see if anybody else joins. If not, um, we got all brown belts, it looks like, on the call. So we'll do the topic for today was advanced key home, and we'll do um, advanced, advanced key home, so stuff for brown and black belt. All right, well, we'll get started. Um, thanks for joining us today for the noon class for your at-home training. Um, today's topic is advanced key home. So it's gonna be about 30 to 35 minute class, hopefully. Um, we'll run through some um, key home techniques, some community techniques, um, and then we'll finish it out with some like stationary kits at the end. So just to start off, Let's do a quick warm up. So, jumping jacks, port back, and arms around and back, cross your body, legs apart wide, stretching forwards. And up, push your hips forward, try to stretch the in the front part of your hips. Down again. And up. Arm across. And switch. Arm over. Stretching out your side lats all the way down. And switch across and down to the ankle. Try to keep your back straight as you're leaning forward so you're not curling. You want to make sure you get that nice stretch. And the other side, across and down, same thing. Try to keep your back straight so you can get that nice stretch. Good. And then feet together. Squat down. Come up, straight legs. Try to touch the floor down and up good and then right from there into yoidashi and left hand out just warming up we're going to start with chokazuki straight punch just no kime you're just going to get the body nice and warm so left hand out just a couple on your own ready itch me some she go broke sitch touch Agyuki rising block, itch, me, some, she, go, broke, sitch, hatch, sotuke, itch, me, some, she, go, broke, sitch, hatch, inside out block, itch, 
Me, some, she, go, rook, sitch, touch, down block, itch. Me, some, she, go, rook, sitch, touch. Shuto uke, knife, and block, itch. Me, some, she, go, rook, sitch, touch. And then outside in down block itch. Me, some, she, go, rook, sitch, touch. Good. And shake it out. All right. So we're just going to go through some key home techniques for the uh, brown and black belt exams. Uh, we start going through stuff. If you guys have any questions, please um, speak up on the microphone. Otherwise, uh, we'll just keep going through stuff. So um, if everybody wants to just kind of get into Kamai stance, left or right, like four, doesn't matter. We do both sides. Um, starting with Kazamazuki, half step, Yakazuki, right? So turning sideways or diagonally, so you can see what you want to do. Jab, you're going to come up half step. This way, I'll turn sideways so you can see. You're going to come up and then step out Yakazuki, right? So you want to keep your butt in. You don't want to be leaning this way. Back straight, driving forwards, basic, keeping the heel down the whole time, right? So very basic chain of step. Boom, heel down, half step, heel down, Yakazuki. Advanced. So for those of you getting ready for your Shodan exam, you can come up. Boom, so you're going to do Kazamazuki. You'll probably still have the hip, the heel down, because we're going to be opening the hips this way for Kazamazuki. Come up, and then the Yakazuki, you can reach out. That back heel can come up, but make sure you don't lean. You want to keep it straight this way, right? Good. So coming forward, it's just nice and slow to start. You want to make sure you don't step this way, right? So you're, you're driving forwards. The, the foot's not coming up. It's stepping out because you're pushing off that back leg, right? So make sure you don't come up this way. So coming forward is itch, half step, step forward, knee, boom, come up, slide back, come forward, itch, half step, step out, knee, come up, slide back, boom, step out, itch, half step, step out, knee, slide back. Let's try the other side. Same thing, right? So it's really focused on not bringing that foot up, right? So you're driving forwards, hips are pushing forward, so that foot moves towards because you're driving, not because you're stepping. So coming forwards, Kazamazuki, half step, Yakazuki, come up, slide back. Kazamazuki, half step, Yakazuki, come up, slide back. One more time. Kazamazuki, half step, Yakazuki, and slide back. Okay, switch sides again. So a little bit more kimei now, a little bit quicker, about half three quarter speed. We just want to try and get the feeling right. So you're gonna be one, two, three, come up, slide back. So we're trying to get that tempo now, right? So it's gonna be one, and then two, three, come up. So we're looking for that right tempo, one, two, three. We're also looking for, as you step, that you're not hopping, but gliding forwards, right? So you're gonna go one, two, three, right? So try not to boom, boom this way. So coming forwards, try to work on that tempo. Ready, itch, boom, boom, come up, slide back. Three, boom, two, come up, slide back. Last one, Stomp. one, two, three, slide back. Switch legs, try the other side, same thing, right? Really focus on the tempo. Just one, two, three. Try not to hop as we're going. Try to glide across the floor. Ready, itch, knee, stomp. Come up, slide back. Itch. Take some. Come back. Itch. Take some. 
and sit back. Anyway, and now today. All right. So I'm trying to check for those of you that do have your cameras on. Um, if you're on carpet, please be careful. You can see I've got carpet floor here, so it's a little bit easier to do the glide. If you're on carpet, be very careful because your toes can catch on the carpet. Pull your toes under, you can hurt yourself. So just be a little bit extra careful with that. You might have to lift your feet up just a little bit slightly higher than normal so you don't get caught on that carpet. All right. So continuing with that, so we're going to do a knee on technique that uses the same footwork as what we just did. So Shihan and Sensei Sean have gone over this the last two classes. Um, but the technique right is Yakuzuki, Kazamazuki, Yakuzuki. All right, so there's two of these. There's this one and Yakuzuki, Kazamazuki. Oizuki that go together. People tend to get a little confused with the footwork and the hand motion. So I'm going to try and break it down, make it a little bit easier. Right? So once again, the movement is Yakuzuki, Kazamazuki. You're going to half step up. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see. So we did Yakuzuki, Kazamazuki, Yakuzuki. Right? So if we forget the hands for a second, what we were doing was Yakuzuki. Kizamazuki, Yakazuki. That's the same footwork as we did with Kizamazuki, half step, Yakazuki. Right? Exact same footwork, exact same tempo. The only thing that's different is now the hips are moving slightly different motion, right? Because we did Kizamazuki, so your hips are opening. Now we're doing Yakazuki, so your hips are closing. But the footwork's still the same, right? So you're going to do Yakazuki, half step, Kazamazuki, so hands are gonna come out, step out, Yakazuki, recover. So exact same footwork as you did before. Hopefully that makes it a little easier. The only difference is hands are going Yakazuki, Kazamazuki, Yakazuki. So going real slow, I'll turn sideways so you guys can follow along. So just breaking it down. So first, Yakazuki, remember same footwork, half step, Kazamazuki, step out, Yakazuki, recover. Slide back. Yakazuki. Kazamazuki. Yakazuki. Come up. Switch. One more time. Yakazuki. Kazamazuki. Yakazuki. Come up. And then actually before we slide back, we switch to the other side. Because we always want to work both sides. So you can do Yakazuki. Kazamazuki. Yakazuki. Come up. Slide back. Right, remember, it's still the same footwork as jab, pass, and reverse punch. You're just switching the hands. Yakazuki, Kazamazuki, Yakazuki. Come up, slide back. Last one. Yakazuki, Kazamazuki, Yakazuki. Come up. All right, so face in the front. You can follow along just a little bit quicker. The main components for this one, because the hands are slightly different. Right, so you're going shoot on, shoot on, shoot on. What we see a lot is this, so you should notice, right, boom. What you don't want to do is go Yakazuki, Kazamazuki, Yakazuki, right? You see how I'm doing the wave right there, up and down. So you don't want to stay down, right? Yakazuki, stay down, half step, Yakazuki, come up. So don't come up and down. Try to stay at the same height the whole time. So we'll just do two coming forward a little bit faster, right? So we're doing by the count. Now it's going to be about half three quarter speed, right? Just to try and get the flow and the tempo. Same thing, right? One, two, three, if you can, right? So it's going to be one, two, three. Come up, right? Coming forward, we'll just do two and then we'll switch sides. Ready? Itch, Yakazuki, Kazamazuki, Yakazuki. Slide back. Coming forward, Yakazuki. Kazamazuki, Yakazuki. Slide back. Switch sides. Doing the other side. Yakazuki, Kazamazuki, Yakazuki. Come up. Slide back. Yakazuki, Kazamazuki, Yakazuki. Recover. Slide back. 
and you may, and now today. Almost. All right, grab a drink of water real quick. Hopefully you guys are starting to get warmed up, get a little sweaty, you know I am. If you guys have any questions on those techniques, uh, go ahead and speak up, otherwise we'll continue um, in just a minute. All right, good. Okay, so now we've got those down. Um, we'll do the other version of that one that people tend to have troubles with, and that's the Yakuzuki, Kazamazuki, Oizuki. But to get to the right footwork, we'll do a technique that's on the short on exam. So the technique that we're going to do is Yakuzuki, Oizuki. So reverse punch, step forward, lunge, punch. So right here, right, you're going to step out, boom, reverse punch, and then you're going to step forwards. Lunge punch. This is going to be Jodan lunge punch, right? So you can see the footwork's going to be you're going to step forwards for the reverse punch, and you're going to step through for the lunge punch. Oops. One more time. So let's give that a shot. If you guys want to get into your Kamai stance, I'll be going sideways so you guys can see. You're going to do, yeah, because you can make sure you step out. Don't lean, right? Back straight, butt in. You're going to step forwards. Squeeze your legs together so you can drive forwards. Boom. Oizuki, uh, Jodan. And then you recover. And then you slide back. One more time. Yakuzuki. Step forwards. Oizuki, Jodan. Recover. And slide back. And switch legs. You're going to do Yakuzuki. Step forwards with that front leg. And then you're going to step all the way through, squeeze your legs together. Boom, boy, Zuki. Recover. Slide back. Yakazuki. Step forward. Boy, Zuki. And recover. Good, so I'll face forwards. Just coming forward, just two. Get a little bit better tempo, right? So you're going to go one, two, right? So really try to drive forwards. What we see a lot is also that kind of up motion. People are kind of getting their hips unengaged from the rest of their bodies. So you want to stay everything contracted, right? Kime, and then you're going to drive forwards. Try not to turn this way. You're trying to get that hip motion. Try not to waddle, right? So for all these ones that you step forward, the secret I like to give people that helps Right, is for the advanced technique, right? Xi'an was talking about basic versus advanced. Basic, you're keeping that back heel down, driving forwards. Advanced, you can come up here, right? So I recommend doing this. And the reason for that is as you do a Yakuzuki here, if I drive forwards, if I keep this back heel down, you gotta have good hip mobility to get your hips straight or even really deep in there. But if you let that back heel come up, not only does it push your body forwards, and I'll turn it sideways so you can see, so you're here. It pushes the body forwards a little bit more. It also gets your hips in a little bit more, right? My hips are in this way. Now when I step, my foot automatically wants to come up and in between. And that's because the waist up here, close to that front, it's all moving forwards, right? If you don't do that, it makes it a little bit harder. You tend to kind of waddle down the floor. So make sure you really drive forwards. It helps to get that right motion this way. Okay, so coming forwards, Yakuzuki, Oizuki. Let's do two on each side. Ready? Yakuzuki, step forward. Oizuki, recover. Slide back. Yakuzuki, step forwards. Oizuki, recover. Slide back. Yakuzuki, Step forward, Oizuki, recover, slide back. Yakuzuki, step forward, Oizuki, and recover. Anyway, and now say. All right, so we'll continue with the upper belt, upper black belt technique that goes along with that. So that one's on the shoulder on exam. The next one's on the knee on and above. This is the one that gives people a lot of troubles with the footwork and the handwork. 
So I'm going to do these together so you can see the footwork is exactly the same. You're just changing the hands again, right? So the technique is Yakazuki, Kazamazuki, like that half step, except we're going to step forwards, Oizuki. Oops. So if you remember before we did Yakazuki, Kazamazuki, Yakazuki, with that same leg force, now we're doing Yakazuki, Kazamazuki, Oizuki. You're stepping all the way through. So you should notice foot works the same. If I remove the hands, right? We did Yakazuki, step forwards, Oizuki. If you look at the feet, Yakazuki, Kazamazuki, Oizuki. Same footwork, exact same. The only thing that's different is not even the hand motion that we did with the other technique. Yakazuki, Kazamazuki, Yakazuki. So turning sideways, let's give this a shot, right? You're gonna do Yakazuki. Remember, same footwork. And you're gonna step forward as you're stepping. When that back foot comes up, you're bringing that hand out for the Kazamazuki. It's gonna continue. Oizuki, gonna come up. Sliding backs, right? So that hand, the jab, is a defensive technique if the guy's moving backwards more. So make sure you get it out there, right? Boom, as you're stepping through, it comes out. Oops. Keeps you moving, keeps you defending, keeps you attacking. So one more time, Yakazuki, Kazamazuki, Yakazuki, Oizuki. Step back, last one, Yakazuki, Kazamazuki, Oizuki. Okay, it's turning to the front, so you guys can see, same, Mistake that we see with the other technique, Yakazuki, Kazamazuki, Yakazuki. We see people coming up as they're stepping through, right? Make sure you stay low. Boom. You're stepping through nice and low. Boom, right? Just like you did with the other technique, Yakazuki, Kazamazuki, Oyazuki, right? Try to come up and down. It's a real easy tendency to have. You want to try to stay low. Try forwards, not up. All right. And grab a drink of water real quick. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask. Otherwise, we'll keep going. Sensei? Yeah. On the uh, Kazamazuki, how far should you like rotate your hip? Should you keep it kind of square? Like, how far do you rotate the hip on the Kazamazuki? Yeah, yeah. So on all these ones, right, anytime you're doing Kazamazuki, the, the hip should be opening, right? And the reason for that is when you're doing Yakazuki, your hip comes in this way so you can get the punch out and if I turn sideways. So that way you can get, if you're here, you've lost power, your power's going the wrong direction, right? You want it to go forwards towards your opponent. So the hip's got to turn in this way. The difference is Kazamazuki, instead of the back hand coming out, it's the front hand coming out, right? So you just see that naturally the hips have to open to do the same kind of motion, right? So in the combos, you're going to do Yakazuki, and anytime you do Kazamazuki, the hips have to open. So you can go just 45, right? It doesn't have to be 90. This is actually way too much. You're going to get really, your feet and hips and everything are going to get confused, right? So you're just going to come 45, boom, this way, right? Contracted, right? Everything's engaged. Not full kime, but you're, it's engaged and connected, right? So I'm 45, and that way that gives me the power to get the hips turning in on the other techniques. You definitely want to go 45 on anything that's Kazamazuki or Udakan. Most. Any other questions before we keep going? Nope. Okay. Good. Um, last, last one we'll go through. Um, we'll do Maigiri Oizuki, right? And I'll show you three variations for this so you guys can practice depending on where you are in the progression, right? So the technique's going to be Maigiri Oizuki this way, right? So you're going to kick, boom, punch, same hand, same leg, and step fours, right? So I'll turn sideways, right? So basic, right? You're going to kick, punch, Step forward. The punch is going to come out as the kick snaps back. Oops. Right? So we don't want to do the basic version 
basic, basic version where you kick, step down, punch, right? So now we're punching in the air, sort of when we're sparring, right? So just naturally you're gonna kick, hips are gonna come forwards, gonna come square, just kinda let the body move, boom, and step forwards. So let's give that a shot, just real easy, right? Let the body naturally do what it does. Don't turn before, just let it naturally kick, punch. If the upper body comes square with the hips, let it do that for this one, right? Just gonna kick, punch, step, step, side back. Alternate legs here, kick, punch, step, step. Kick, punch, step, step. Kick, punch, step, step. Last one, kick, punch, step, step. And on the last one on the other side, kick, punch, step, step. All right? So basic version there. Upper body and the lower body move together. So as you're kicking and coming square, punching, stepping forwards, right? However, if you're sparring with someone and you do that, all you're doing is just throwing the punch from here. You got no power, it's not gonna do much. So the way we remedy that, and Xi'an and Sensei, Sean talked about this, you wanna hold the punching shoulder back. So I'll face front so you can see. So before we did this, right? The came forwards, upper body, hips were square, kick, punch, just to get the right timing. Now we want to get some power. I'm going to hold this back. So I'm going to kick. You can see I've got the shoulder and the hand stay where they are in space, right? They didn't move. They stayed here. Boom. As they came back this way. Boom. Right? So I'm going to kick. I'm pulling this back. Kick. And then punch. Right? That gives you more power. You've got that same motion for the Yakuzuki, right? So it was here. It's back, it's coming forwards, right? So try this, going slow, just get the right feeling. So you're gonna kick, you're gonna hold this back, the hip and the shoulder back. You're gonna kick, and then throw it forwards. Got at the same timing, right? So don't hold it back, kick, snap back, and then punch. Now you've missed it, right? It's gonna kick, punch together, and then step forwards, right? Because it's snapping back, you're punching. We'll do a couple coming forwards, try to keep that shoulder and hip back try to feel the feeling right kick punch step step slide back kick punch slide forwards step back kick punch step step slide back kick punch step forwards step back okay. all right so these are two basic versions of the advanced technique, right? And the reason I say basic, I'll turn sideways, so you can see. As I'm kicking, right, you can see my support leg is stationary up and down this way, right? Kick, boom, drive force, right? Remember, we're not falling, coming down and gliding out, right? So we're kick, punch, step, step, right? So I'm doing the technique, and then I'm moving, right? Basic way of doing techniques. Now we want to do an advanced version of this. Now the reason for this is if you're sparring with someone, as soon as you throw this technique, they're moving, right? They're stepping backwards, they're moving out of the way. If they've got any range of motion, they're gonna start moving pretty far. And it's hard if you kick, punch this way to catch them. So the way we remedy that is that support leg is not gonna be stationary up and down. It's gonna be pushing this way, right? So I'll try to demonstrate here. So we're gonna have the same thing, shoulder and hip back. Don't worry too much about that for now. We're just trying to drive force. So you're gonna push, punch, right? So you see the difference there. As I'm kicking, my support leg is driving forwards this way. So I'm moving towards my opponent instead of kicking and punching my opponent. I'm attacking outwards. So let's try this, right? And the feeling you wanna have is you're driving down into your support leg. I'll switch this way. 
driving down as you're pushing this way. Push the hips. Try not to fall backwards either, right? So you're gonna push boom, this way. So let's give that a shot. Try a couple, right? You're gonna drive forwards, kick punch ready. Hitch, boom, slide back. Knee, boom, slide back. Sump, slide back. Sheep, slide back, right? Anyway, and now today. All right, so you've got three, three versions of this depending on where you are in your progression. If you're just learning, do the first one, right? Kick, punch, nice and square, just to get the feeling. If you've done this a little bit and you're trying to get that power and command of the technique, hold the hip and shoulder back, kick, and then throw it out, right? Practice into the heavy bag and we go back to the dojo or at home if you've got a pillow. Get that feeling of what some power feels like with that technique. And the third one, if you've got that down, try to get the attack as opposed to the techniques. So you're driving forwards, boom, this way. You see the differences on coming forwards as opposed to here, boom, boom, it's movement more, boom, this way, right? Coming forward. So three versions for you to practice depending on where you are. Any questions with any of that? I think we're getting close on time. No? All right. Last thing, it's always good to do. Hopefully you have enough space. If you don't, try to shift a little bit so you've got space. I'm going to turn, I'm going to move sideways because I've got, you can see a fireplace on this side. So everyone just left leg forward, hands up. This is the finish. We're just going to stationary kicks, front snap, side snap, roundhouse, back kick, step down. We'll do three on each side, right? And we'll go by the count. So one count, uh, all four techniques. So ready, itch. Knee. Last one, make sure you get the right ankle position that you're looking, cheek. Good. And switch your legs. Same thing on the other side. Three, and then William May. Ready? Itch. Front snap. Side snap. Round house. Back kick. Step down. Knee. Front snap. Side snap. Round house. Back kick. Step down. Last one. So front snap. Side snap. Round house. Back kick. Step down. You may. And now today. If you find that difficult, it is on the short on exam, that exact sequence. It's five on each side. Um, the advice I like to give the short on candidates is practice the foot, leg, ankle position. You don't have to kick, right? So you're just gonna stand here. Front snap, side snap, roundhouse, back kick. Same thing, right? Front snap, side snap, roundhouse, back kick. You can just stay here, right? Front snap, side snap, roundhouse, back kick. And you can do that in the morning when you're brushing your teeth, right? You should be brushing for two minutes. You can get one minute of stuff on this side. Just continuing this motion, boom, switch sides, switch hands, boom, this way, right? It really helps with your balance, helps with getting the right foot and ankle position with the leg. It's a little bit easier when you're not fighting yourself during the exam. So for that, I think we're out of time. If anybody has any questions, um, we'll stay on the call for just a few minutes. But um, everybody keep together. Uh, thank you for training. We'll see you guys hopefully later today for the five o'clock with Smoothie Mark.